Stage four, looks like we're winding up for a sprint. Will Cavendish be able to make it a hat-trick? John Murphy as well for United Healthcare. Brace of fourth place finishes already. Very close to the podium and very close to a stage success. And he's well used to tasting victory champagne from the local racing scene. So United, United Healthcare will be pretty keen to place him in good situation. This finish will suit, as you said, we've got a few technical corners on the, uh, on the last kilometre. And uh, Etik's quick step will have to be aware, but uh, they had to ride pretty much all day into the second stage, so they were depleted in numbers. And luckily enough, uh, Mark Renshaw managed to get Mark Cavendish in the right place. But look at it here. They've got um, pretty much six riders at the front of the race, six riders in, in front of uh, Mark Cavendish. He's in the green jersey. Alaphilippe is in the white jersey, the best young rider who finished third in the stage yesterday. I've got... Uh, Cavendish and uh, Sagan are two favourites. Possibly, you know, I think Cavendish is the uh, the better of the two. Then I've got Walt uh, Whippert, who rode well third. He came out the last corner, good positioning by Drapak team, got him right in the uh, good place, and uh, you know, finished third in the second stage. I've got JP Drucker from BMC. I think he'll be there and thereabouts, and also John Murphy, as we've said, two fourth place already and uh, they'll be really looking for John Murphy to move up, but let's not discount the guys in the orange helmets. They have tried the first two sprint stages. They'll be looking after Bovan, the Canadian. Yeah, superb top uh, six finish for Guillaume Boivin on the first sprint stage of the week. Canadian rider getting up for optimum powered by Kelly Benefit strategies. And the black jerseys, the orange helmets, very distinctive colors and they're not afraid to mix it up with the world tour squads the scene from the back of the bunch most of these riders just uh, thinking about surviving pace is pretty hectic up there still a couple of riders uh, comfortable enough to have a little bit of a chat it's easier uh, sitting in the wheels I can tell you if you're on the front of the bunch right now it's absolutely flying along the sky squad on the front on the left So Eddick's quick step on the right-hand side, just over five miles, just around about eight and a bit kilometers remaining on stage four of Amgen Tour of California. The overall race leader, Tom Squinch, is safely in there. It's just about survival for him, and we're hoping that uh, no one clips off. They're hun most unlikely to take a 30-second advantage, so he's heading towards a second day in the overall leader's jersey. Though for the man wearing the points jersey, Mark Cavendish, it's chasing that hat-trick. Who can prevent him? Peter Sagan, as we've seen, probably not feeling that confident, giving, given that he was uh, minded to try and attack within 15 kilometers of the finish. And now we see the uh, Sky team up towards the front, Brian. Yeah, they're just uh, looking after Henao, just keeping their overall contender up there. We've got a three-kilometer rule. Anything happens outside that three kilometers, a crash or a puncture, they could be losing time. They've come here to try and win the uh, Tour of California for the uh, second year. They won it last year with uh, Bradley Wiggins, but this is looks as if it's going to come into town as one big bunch. We've got the Etics Quickstep boys on the far side, on the right-hand side of the road, and that's uh, Stein Vandenberg at the front. Then we've got the orange helmets of the Optum team, white top to the jerseys of the uh, Trek factory race, and some other teams trying to mix in. Still a long way to go to lead out because these guys have to go at over 30 miles an hour to stay on the front. A lot of people just uh, freewheeling in the wheels. The, the uh, secret of um, leading out is uh, having as many riders as possible inside the last three kilometers, because you have to ride at 55 kilometers an hour or even more to keep that position, because everybody wants to come up and, and dive bomb you and take over the front. It is a technical finish. We've already said there's quite a few four corners in the last kilometre. There's a bit of a chicane inside the last 500 metres. And then we get 300 metres left-hand turn. And then it kind of rises the last 50 metres up to the finishing line. So it's going to be a little tricky finish. But the BMC also looking after Jempy Drucker with the two riders in the white jerseys just in front of him. So it's Eric's quick step on the front. They're lining things up for Mark Cavendish. He uh, hasn't put his nose in the wind all afternoon, except for a couple of uh, little flurries. Alive to every danger. 
excellent concentration from him man sitting third wheel julian anna philippe the best placed uh, rider for ethics quick step more concerned i think with uh, staying safe to his left also in a white jersey the red shorts and that's uh, michael share for the bmc squad just in front of the man wearing the mountains classification jersey that's uh, daniel os and those two riders are looking after the man uh, with the red jersey just behind them that's yempi drucker from the bmc squad who's been well to the fore in the first two sprints so far and would definitely fancy his chances of perhaps uh, scoring a famous victory into avila this afternoon so the squad's lining up and trying to get into position there's plenty of room there's not so much uh, road furniture out there so teams uh, relatively structured at the moment with five and a half kilometers to go yeah and it's the two uh, big boys from uh, ethics uh, quick step and van kersbrook and, and vandenberg leading the way just behind two other tall figures of uh, Shar and os five kilometers to go now as we start to see giant alpacin come up in the black kit in the middle of the picture on the right hand side in the Dayglow jerseys that's Tinkoff Saxo they now have to try and present Peter Sagan in a sprint finish it's not something that they feel so confident about given his uh, inability to get past Mark Cavendish in the first two sprint stages what has Peter Sagan got left what have those riders got left after all their efforts today in Capi racing team riders Oscar Clark Flaxis as well there they're bit part players now because now it's all up to the sprinters Giant Alpacine starting to make their presence felt in the center of picture in the dark jerseys with the white stripe. They've got uh, Cone de Court going well. Zico Waitens perhaps their uh, go-to man in the sprint. Tinko Saxo to their left to the right-hand side as we look on picture in the Dayglow jerseys. The white of Trek Factory Racing. Danny Van Poppel. We haven't mentioned him, but he's had a couple of top ten finishes. One of them a top five. And some of the local squads also starting to get involved. Novo Nordisk on the right-hand side of picture. This is, in fact, Jelly Beans. It's uh, come up here, Jelly Belly. The team, uh, they have got uh, Fred Rodriguez. I'm not too sure. I've not seen him towards the front, but they definitely are putting one or two riders towards. Pretty messy at this moment, as we've seen in the Sacramento and on stage two also into uh, Lodi. We had a very messy sprint. Both of them won by uh, Mark Cavendish in the end. And it does look as if there's a lot of fight, a lot of push and a lot of shoving in this peloton inside the last few kilometers now. It's getting physical. We're just about four kilometers from the finish line in Avila Beach. It's a slightly winding, twisting finish with a little ramp up. So they've got to time it absolutely to perfection. At its quick step, all seems very cool, calm and collected when you judge it from this distance. I can tell you right down there in the middle of it there's plenty of pushing and shoving lots of shouts and lots of uh, physical stuff going on track factory racing just to the right of stein vandenberg as they push hard on the front trying to get control S team saxo on the right hand side of picture just uh, holding a watching brief at the moment and the red of drapak racing also very much in evidence Three and a half kilometers remaining. Who's going to come up with a victory into Avila Beach? It's Edix Quickstep retaining control of the front of the bunch. To their right, the white of Trek Factory Racing and Danny Van Poppel. To their right, the Drapak Racing representing Wouter Whippard in the sprint this afternoon. As uh, Team Saxo lose one of their riders, Tinkoff Saxo rider just uh, drifting back. And it's all about trying to retain as many riders as you possibly can into the sprint. It's a show of strength here again yet for uh, Etix Quickstep really riding on the front of the peloton. Giant Shimano coming up in the uh, black jersey on the right hand side. The uh, Tinkoff team in the fluorescent yellow still looking after, after Peter Sagan. Matteo Trentin coming up. The road is just rising. Stein de Volder is on the uh, left hand side for uh, Trek Factor Racing. They're looking after Van Poppel. Slight rise in the road here. And now the uh, team of Etix Quickstep have been swamped by two teams and that's uh, Trek Factor Racing and Tinkoff. Oh, it's furious stuff now. Three kilometers remaining. A little bit of a roller coaster finish just to test the legs of the big sprinters. And look at the efforts that are required to try and get to the front of the bunch. Edix Quickstep have had control. They've seeded it for a little while. Will they be able to get it back inside the final kilometer, which is the pattern we've seen in the first couple of stages? 
Still looking that way with uh, one of the riders. So it's actually Alaphilippe is at the front, the best young rider. So Alaphilippe is on the front. It looks like Trent. And they're looking behind. Where is the green jersey of Mark Cavendish? He's been swamped a little. Again, everybody all over the road. It's a bit slightly uphill at this moment. But uh, Trent in comes through. Mark Cavendish trying to battle to hold the wheel of uh, Mark Renshaw. Mark Renshaw just glances behind. He's still there. He's still there. He has so much trust in Mark Renshaw. He just follows the wheel. A couple of headbutts there into one of the optum riders this is my wheel i'm keeping it and if i stay on it i've got a good chance of winning oh you don't get the wheel back from uh, mark cavendish too easy look at this for a late power attack from daniel Oss as we reach the kite one kilometer remaining daniel Oss has tried it he's wearing the mountains jersey but i can tell you this is a big big strong man and this is our strong man's finish and he might fancy it because he's pulled a bit of a fast one will they be able to get back to daniel Oss? he was desperate to get the mountains jersey by right yesterday hasn't got lead of that classification he's just looking after that jersey a stage win would be considerable uh, considerable soccer to him as he makes this left turn it looks as if the bunch have managed to get back to daniel os and will he be overhauled in time for the line because it's a long 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 drag up to the finish line in avila today they've got another turn to make they sweep around to the right daniel os holding just a few bike lengths advantage, going for the line. Trek Factory racing behind. They've got to go left again. Left again for uh, Daniel Oss. The crowd give him a cheer, but look at that ramp up to the finish. Is there any way he can survive? As behind, Wilder Whippert goes for it. Wilder Whippert looks like he's still in the march. Here comes Peter Sagan. Peter Sagan launches himself out of the peloton. Wilder Whippert on his left. Peter Sagan gets the victory. Peter Sagan gets... Oh, and that is such... A victory for Peter Sagan. It's been a long time coming, and that uh, champagne will take stall the sweeter, I think. It's likely to be a glass of wine, but it's Peter Sagan that takes the victory on stage four into Avila. Just about overhauling the late, late attack from Daniel Oss of BMC, and that is a sweet success indeed. No luck for Mark Cavendish, no triple for him, but for Peter Sagan, didn't seem that confident with some of his uh, attacks. Well, now 